Hello, hello. It is Melissa, your insurance exam queen here, helping you pass all your state licensing exams for life, health, property, and casualty. And adjusters too, but only the property and casualty content because <laughs> I don't know adjuster stuff, not yet. Um, but anyway, make sure that you check out the Facebook group where we have lots of love and support and vibes and help. Um, anytime that you tag me, I'll always answer a question in our um, Facebook group. You can find that in my, if you go to my main channel page and then and they're like big banner. There's a little tiny Facebook button. You can click that. Or if you were to just search insurance exam queen on Facebook, you'll find it. Additionally, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel. Um, I can see the stats and half of you are not subscribed. So please subscribe. It helps out. It does nothing for you and it does everything for me. So it really helps out. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. But what this video is today. Oh, and also if you drop a comment below, about what state you're in and what tests you're taking. I'm going to assume property and casualty, but um, drop a comment below and I will tell you what is important for your state and how I can best help you to pass. Whether you, um, I have um, paid for class series that you can take and you can find those all at insuranceexamqueen.com. I also have free resources available on that website as well. Um, but either way, I will tell you what is most important to study for your state. So drop your state below and what test, whether it's property, casualty, personalized life or health, and I will give you a description of what's important and direct you to my free and paid for resources and how I can best support you. So I get this question a lot. What is the difference between property and casualty and personal lines? So a lot of people are... Um, when, because when you're like taking the test, you're you end up searching a lot of the same stuff because it's it almost is the same. The difference is is that property and casualty will include commercial. So like property casualty is like the 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 three the the basic ones: home, auto, and commercial. Personal lines is basically just home and auto. Now there's more in there. There's like flood and umbrella and things like that. But the primary policies that you're studying whether it's PNC or personal lines are home and auto. And then for PNC, it includes the commercial side as well. So what I will, so personal lines is the easier test because it doesn't include commercial at all. But however, 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 even in the States where, or even if you're taking the PNC exam, so you're taking property and casualty, which includes homeowners, you can pass it by just knowing personal line stuff in most states. So in most states, there are some breakdowns like Alabama is like 26% commercial. Um, so there are some states where commercial is a little bit heavier weighted, but for the most part, knowing home auto, um, those, those personal line and dwelling is included in their flood umbrella, stuff like that. But um, knowing those personal lines policies and you can pr almost pass the exam. The other thing too is that all of the generic the general insurance terms or insurance terms related concepts, policy provision and contract law, same, same. It's the same stuff, whether it's property, casualty, or personal lines. So the only difference really is that commercial component. And if you watched any of my videos where I talk about commercial, you don't need to be very strong in commercial to be able to pass. And in fact, for years myself, I was never really strong in commercial and I was able to pass all of these exams, even up to 90%. And the other thing too, is that with commercial, a lot of the um, stuff is the, what was going to say, oh, if you understand dwelling and homeowners, which are property policies, you will automatically get questions correct when it comes to commercial and BOP, because they're also property policies. So by studying dwelling and homeowners, you are also going to be able to get questions correct in commercial, whether you fully understand it or not because you've studied it, because you've learned about property policies, you can make some pretty educated guesses when you get to those commercial questions. So that is the difference. Property and casualty is home, auto, and commercial. Personal lines is just home and auto. It doesn't have any commercial on it. And again, when I say home and auto, those are the primary policies. But of course, there are a couple little other ones. But the key thing is that not, there's nothing commercial based on personal lines. That's what it means, personal. It's not business. It's personal. It's for a regular family, a homeowner, a car owner. They're not running a business. It's for a regular personal person. So that's the difference. Again, this is Melissa, your insurance exam queen, sending you all the loves, all the vibes to pass the exam. Make sure you uh, like, 
the channel, subscribe to the channel, like this video. Again, drop your state and what exam you're testing in the comments below. And I'll be happy to tell you what is important and how I can best support you. And you can check out my Facebook group for study support. Make sure you answer the questions though. Otherwise I will decline you. And um, yeah, all the loves, all the vibes to pass the exam. You have an amazing day.